And then I got to reading some of the other articles, and I came to this one, History of the Wildlife Restoration Act by Ben O'Brien. And I was absolutely shocked when I read it. First I was shocked, and then I was pissed off. So I brought a little reading material with me up here to my spring bear camp, uh, bow hunting, and the latest issue of Peterson's Hunting. They're both published by a large New York conglomerate called the Outdoor Sportsman Group. I've subscribed to these magazines for years, especially this one. So I was reading this last night in camp, and I was really interested in this uh, one article about going old school a guy who uh, makes his own flintlock rifles and hunts with them and makes tomahawks and knives really interesting and then I got to reading some of the other articles and I came to this one history of the wildlife restoration act by Ben O'Brien and I was absolutely shocked when I read this first I was shocked and then I was pissed off very pissed off so pissed off, as a matter of fact, that I am going to let this expire. When my subscription to Peterson's Hunting ends, I think it's in December of this year, that's it. I'm not renewing. Don't even bother sending me any of your mass mailing renewal stuff, Peterson's. The Pittman-Robertson Act, of course, dates back to the uh, 1930s. That's when the government started uh, levying attacks on the sales of guns and ammunition and it was to go for um, wildlife conservation. Well, this guy, Mr. O'Brien, who I'll bet you dollars to donuts, is a raging left-wing Democrat demagogue radical leftist. He's all hot on the trail of what they call the backpack tax. That's what they want to implement next. And the backpack tax apparently has been tried in this country a few years ago and failed. Basically what that is, is the government wants to tax all kinds of outdoor equipment across the board. This Coleman camp chair I'm sitting in, that Coleman tent, my six gallon water container, my ice chest, my action packers, my little folding table, my Coolaroo sunshade, my bottle top stove, anything to do with going uh, to the outdoors and recreating. This is what he actually says, and you can read it for yourself. The user pay system is so ingrained in hunters through eight decades that they are fundamentally willing to pay for the privilege to go outside. I'll read that again. The user pay system is so ingrained in hunters through eight decades that they are fundamentally willing to pay for the privilege to go outside. Guess what, asshole? I do pay for the privilege to go outside now. I don't buy hardly any new firearms or that much ammunition any longer, but I pay license fees, I pay tags, I pay for magazines like this. Although if Mr. O'Brien had his way, this magazine would be taxed. And his premise is, the number of licensed hunters over the last few years has been falling quite a bit. From a high of 17 million in 1982 and 14 million in 2011. And now it's supposedly down to 11.5 million. So, as any good leftist would, his answer is to tax, tax, tax the people. Well, guess what, you piece of I already pay more than enough, and I am totally against this. I am outraged that this kind of garbage would appear in Peterson's hunting.
Too bad, because you just lost a subscriber.